For the second consecutive year, Burson Marsteller USA is supporting the Lymphoma and Leukemia Light the Night Walk program. Last year, hundreds of our colleagues participated in walks in eight cities across the country and raised more than $40,000. They were joined by family and friends, and we had a great time at every stop. One of the events that the society has is the Light the Night Walk, and, and frankly, it's my favorite event. You don't have to be a triathlete or a, a century cyclist to do it. So last year, uh, I encouraged the head of U.S. Human Resources, Michelle Chase, to come along with me to a breakfast, a Light the Night breakfast. Uh, she got all excited about it, totally charged up, and she went back to Pat Ford, our U uh, U.S. CEO, and Pat got all charged up about it, and the next thing I knew, uh, Bursa Marsteller was a national sponsor for Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. For us to be able to do this across um, the U.S., it's just such a meaningful experience for everyone, and I think it pulls the company together as a whole. I think it's really important for companies to be involved in the Light the Night Walk. On some level, we all want to be a part of something that's greater than ourselves, and this is one of those things. It's important to step outside of the office, bond with friends, invite family, bond with colleagues, and really come together around a cause beyond our business. Well, I think we spend most of our time counseling clients on what it means to be a good corporate citizen. So it's really a nice for, for me as a member of Burson Marsteller and for all the people who work in New York to actually participate in things like this that we often preach to our clients. We should not only talk the talk, but walk the walk. Probably the most memorable event for last year was taking my daughter to the Light the Night Walk. I had a ball. I met a lot of people and um, we walked and we talked and we talked about things that naturally you're not going to talk about at work. I will never ever forget those hours um, under the little tent and blowing up a, what seemed like a bajillion balloons. Well, I thought probably the neatest thing was when we kind of rounded the corner and saw the bridge for the first time. At one point, you were able to see thousands of people in front of you and walking over the Brooklyn Bridge, and you just saw the flashing lights of the balloons. It was warm. Everybody was, you know, just happy to be outside after work. It was starry. There were these glowing balloons all over the place. It almost felt magical. I had a younger sister who actually had leukemia um, and passed away, so I think that it is really important to get awareness of this out there. My uh, baby brother had uh, Hodgkin's uh, twice. Um, he's, he's been in recovery now for about 25 years. My grandmother died from blood disease, so it's, it's a very personal sort of commitment for me, and to see other people committed equally, uh, I think it's, it's just fantastic. If you're reluctant, you think it's going to be a hassle, you don't want to take the time, you really should ignore all of that and just sign up. It's a lot of fun, it's very easy, it's a great way to bond with friends, family and colleagues. It brings a sense of accomplishment to know that you contributed in some way to actually make a small difference. You hope that every step you take is really one that's, that's helping um, others move towards a cure. I'm just proud to uh, be associated with Bursa Marstella, proud to be associated with Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, and I'm just glad that two things that mean so much to me have been able to get together and that my colleagues are really helping to support uh, such a, a wonderful cause. Bursa Marsteller. Come, Come together, together for the Light the Night Walk. walk. Light the Night Walk. It's fun. 2008. The Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Yo, light the night for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Bring it home.